If we add on the MACD, we see that we're actually getting a bearish cross in the monthly right now as well. Again, charts are absolutely cooked here. When we've had these three MACD crosses previously, it resulted in much lower price action. The last point for the bears is that the October 6th all-time high is a very good fit, both in terms of timing for the four-year cycle, percentage gains, and just a lot of things can say, okay, well, that was it. That was the best we got this cycle. Here's Bitcoin and logarithmic scale, measuring the price percentage changes and the timing across Bitcoin's major bull and bear markets, starting from the 2013 top. From the 2013 cycle top to the next bottom, Bitcoin dropped 87% in 413 days. From that bottom to the 2017 top, a 12,000% gain over 1,064 days. From the 2017 top to the bottom, an 84% drop over 364 days. From that bottom to the 2021 top, a 2,100% gain over 1,064 days. That's pretty crazy. From the 2021 top to the next bottom, a 77% drop over 378 days. And from that bottom to the October 6th top, assuming that was the top for the cycle, a 713% gain over 1,050 days. So, what we're seeing here is very clear pattern in the cycles, both in terms of timing, which would, again, if that was truly the top, absolutely uncanny, and as well as diminishing percentage returns.